So what are the insurance companies doing for business owners for group employee benefit plans? So here are some high level things that I've seen from some of the um, insurance carriers out there. One, allowing for suspension of dental coverage temporarily. So because we can't actually go to the dentist, if you would like to temporarily suspend those benefits, some carriers are allowing for that. I've also seen a deferral of benefit renewal. So therefore deferring the possibility of increased premiums. I've also seen an adjustment to the number of hours um, qual to work in order to qualify for benefits. So for most companies, employees have to work for 20 hours per week in order to be entitled to benefits. So they're adjusting that number to allow people to remain on benefits even though they've fallen under the 20 hours per week of hours worked. And lastly, probably the best um, offering that I've seen, and I've seen this from Several carriers, including um, Victor, nor formerly known as Encon, Manulife's done this, and um, I, I don't know if they're all going to follow suit or what's happening there, but. I've seen a automatic uh, premium reduction in dental rates. So I've seen up to 62% reduction in premiums for dental, just temporarily, of course, as well as a reduction in the healthcare side. So less of a reduction, I'm seeing seven to 10% reduction on the healthcare side, just because people are still able to get um, prescriptions and, and utilize healthcare. On the dental side, though, huge increases temporarily. A big shout out, I also wanted to remind people of a couple important items with group employee benefits. If you're feeling anxious or your employees are feeling anxious or you as the employer due to COVID-19 and you just need to talk to somebody, um, that most group employee benefits plans have that employee assistance program where it's a toll-free number, you get some counseling, you can talk to somebody. So take advantage of that during this time. Um, also something pretty unique is virtual practitioners. So just so everyone knows, if you are seeing a Cairo, a Cairo or a physio, um, for example, those you can still see your practitioners and still have your claims go through. So uh, pretty much everything, speech, everything still seems to be on the list except for massage. So I'm um, not sure how chiropractors are working virtually, but um, um, if your practitioners are, you can still submit those claims.